Look, welcome back to Scars from the Playground. Diddy facing more allegations, bro. This every 24 hours is new allegations coming out. Well, this is coming from a kid that was 10 years old at the time. In 05, Diddy flew him out to New York, him and his parents. Uh, he went privately to a hotel with Diddy, rap for him. Uh, Diddy asked him, how bad do you want to be a star? Yeah, how bad do you want to be? You remember Marlon Wayans asked his nephew the same thing before he kissed him in the mouth. But he said, how bad do you want to be a star? Uh, the little dude really wanted to be a star. He said he gave him a soda. After the soda, bro, he said it all got cloudy. Um, the rest is in the paperwork. Look, uh, it's not looking good for Diddy, bro. They're going to keep embarrassing him, keep embarrassing him, and stomping him into the ground until they finally cement it in when they give him probably 20 to life. You know, yeah, yeah, 20 to life. I don't know, bro. Drop it in the comments, but we'll see, man. Uh, this Diddy thing, uh, this shit growing legs, dog. On top of that... The no Diddy has become like part of everybody's speech. You know what I mean? We don't even do it to say to for to be funny no more. It's just like we just slandering it as, you know what I mean? Just for the hell of it. I'm just being honest. I'm just being real, bro. Drop it in the comments. That brings me to Ray J. Ray J was nearly jumped by Diddy's three sons at a Halloween party. Yeah, yeah, this is for Diddy slander. Uh, allegedly he said some slick shit and the kids wasn't having it. Quincy, the little one that looked just like him, and Justin was going to whoop <laughs> in, that, in that Halloween party. This is kind of confusing, bro, because, you know, I put Ray J on the other side, bro, because I thought he was taking up for Diddy. So I would really like to know where this one went when they dropped more deets, bro. The details ain't in just yet. But we got to understand, bro, the kids ain't having it. Whether or not their daddy is a monster, they doing, I guess, what they supposed to do. But it's like a, I don't know, bro, because if all the allegations are true, they fighting for the wrong cause, dog. I'm just being honest. I'm just being real, dog. If my, if my daddy was a monster, I wouldn't run behind him. Yeah, yeah, I wouldn't run behind him. Drop it in the comments what you think they doing, what they supposed to do. Or you think they you know, stepping overboard. For, you think they should stay in the house for a minute because they still partying. I don't even know why they still mixed in with the crowd, bro. Let's just be honest. Drop it in the comments, man. Look, this is a funny one. Fat Joe dragged for his performance at the Yankees game. Look, he did a few jams, bro, and due to technical difficulties, like, it just, I don't know, it just didn't gel right. You know what I mean? It just didn't gel right, bro. Uh, he was trying to sing over the lyrics and shit like that. With that, bro, you got to add natural energy to it. I understand he really a Yankees fan, but, bro, he damn near cursed them because they went on to lose the game after this. Yeah, they lost the game, bro. He took the whole vibe out the game before it even started. Fat Joe, go sit down somewhere, bro. Uh, I ain't never really just like Joe, but you got to admit, like, when it's on the radio, bro, they put so much production in it, you think it's a hit. Yeah, you think it's a hit to, like, it don't, I don't know, it don't stand the test of time. You know what I mean? Yes, that's what Fat Joe shit. This shit just didn't stand the test of time, and it showed right here. But, you know, everybody have a bad performance. But after this long in the game, Joe, that's not looking good. And you talk way too much shit. You feel bad for Dame? Now nah, we feel bad for you for this one because they dragging you for that one. Yeah, yeah, they dragging you for that one. Uh, drop it in the comments if you've seen the performance. I've seen it. It was a mess. I'm just being honest. I'm just being real, man. Scars from the playground. Look, Charleston White throwing shots at FYBJ Maine. He's, look, he didn't know if he rap or if he just sell still cereal or what. He just say he never want to sit down with him. He said, yeah, the whole push and peace shit just don't come out genuine with him. Like, you know, it's just him and a box of cereals. You know what I mean? Look, he say if you was going to pick anybody, it's supposed to be King Yeller. Like, everybody's supposed to be getting that King Yeller about this push and peace. He's the originator. Uh, a lot of people don't know, but in 2016, they down there assassinated him when he was trying to do a video for Pushing Peace in Chicago. Look, he don't like uh, King Yella, but he definitely don't like FYBJ Man. You know what I mean? Uh, I like FYBJ Man. I'm just being honest, bro. He added a little character and shit to the effect, but I think it's like the whole FBG shit and just knowing that he from that, and I think people just don't give him a shot. You know what I mean? I think he trying and... He young. Compared to what Charleston White had, bro, we still got like 20 years to get to Charleston White age. You know what I mean? So, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, shout out FYBJ Main, bro. He trying. That's all you could do in this world, bro. Yeah, yeah. All you could do in this world is try. I mean, you got to get some credit for at least trying, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Charleston White, cool, but 
That's why BJ Main I, right. you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, he ain't no bad dude. Y'all drop it in the comments if y'all for or against FYBJ Main, but I'm totally for him. And I, I love it that he built this platform like he did, bro. I don't agree with everything he do and say, but you ain't supposed to, bro. He run that content and he doing what he's supposed to, man. Look, Tory Lanez filed a complaint against his former attorney. Look, he said he paid up more than $300,000. And five days after they convicted him guilty, she was nowhere to be found. Quit. Cut him loose. You know what I mean? What she say, she wanted him to take a plea deal. He wouldn't take it. Look, uh, she, he came back rebuttal. Uh, she was working with Rock Nation. Uh, look, I don't know about all that. I just know this dude sentenced to 10 years without parole. So if you didn't do the shooting, you should have got on that stand and say you didn't do the shooting. Like all that to fight from the inside, you did that totally backwards, bro. You're supposed to fight from the outside. He say he didn't do it. They say the pistol missed him. Meg the Stallion say the pistol ain't missing. They got it right there in evidence. Look, I don't know, bro. But if you wanted that evidence, like, you should have did everything before they locked your ass up for 10 years, bro. Let's just be honest. Let's just be real, bro. I think everybody can admit the dude let it go too far. If you didn't do the shooting, come on, man. Uh, people backwards, Tory Lanez, you might really just have to do them 10, bro. If you get out, I would be hella surprised. Even though, look, I was kind of like up and down with it at first but come on man this 10 years without parole bro you, you did something let's just be honest laquando rondo dropped a new song for lil pop this one is incredible i think like you know drake and kendrick that whole rap beef it showed you some music but when you get music like this bro you really feel them tunes you know what i mean yeah yeah he's it, showing growth and development bro i hate that it you got to go through so much to where you reach this type of mind frame, but I'm just glad he did, bro. Yeah, yeah, I'm just glad he did. Life goes on. Me and a few, like, the last ones left, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, and the boys sing, like, the gospel, you know? I think a lot of people forget. Quando was getting his ass whooped, so to have a whole hit on him, he never even did nothing in the situation, you know what I mean? That's the, I always like Quando Rondo, bro. Yeah, yeah, him and... NBA young boy like one of the same like they were bad but you can always see the good in them yeah you can always see the good in them look uh shout out Quando Rondo bro he about to have to do a little time but I'm glad he got his mind right before he go in there because he gonna get out a better person most definitely yeah 100 percent like y'all drop it in the comments man uh y'all fuck Quando or against him if you against him bro you got to be an idiot yeah you got to be an idiot bro but go check out the music man go check out the music after that, say whatever you say, but bro, bro changed his life. And if it took the Quran and all that shit to do it for him, man, shout out to him. More power to him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm just being honest. I'm just being real, man. 50 Cent throwing shots at Amari Harwick. Look, he say they not cool. Yeah, yeah, he say they not cool. He say, he, uh, look, he, Amari Harwick always go around saying he was underpaid. That's why he quit power. Like that, come on, everybody know power is the best thing that happened to him. Now I'm 50 Cent coming out and he... Letting it be known, bro. He was giving you 50 to 60K when you didn't have money, bro. The money don't come in to the third season. Once the third season came, you didn't need them loans anymore. Hey, he also said, bro, since he left power, it ain't been no excitements about his project since. He's, man, that's facts, bro. He just, look, he thought he was too much, bro. Something, sometimes you got to learn you might play one part and be known for that part your whole career. I don't think he'll ever get a part as big as St. James St. Patrick. Look, y'all drop it in the comments, man. But yeah, I, I think he totally tripped out on leaving that show. And at first I liked the character, but after hearing him talk and say he don't even like to talk about the show. Look, I don't even like him as the character. Yeah, I don't like James St. Patrick. I'm glad Tariq got rid of him. Yeah, yeah, I'm just being honest. I'm just being real, bro. Drop it in the comments. Look, Charleston White throwing shots at Lil Durk. He says, easy to push the concept of peace when you got skeletons in your closet. He saluted the change that he was making, but think he was trying to avoid something. You know what I mean? Uh, I like Lil Durk, bro. I like Lil Durk. I hate that he did this. I think it was so stupid. Look, Charleston White say the feds have been watching him for a minute and they got all type of shit on him. They're going to humiliate him like they did Diddy. Look. Dirk, he, he fucked up with this one. Let's just be honest, bro. Murder for hire gets you put under the prison. I, 
like Charles and White drag a lot of people, but y'all laugh at him when he go through shit. So you can't help people but laugh, you know what I mean? It's victims in this too, you know what I mean? It ain't about Dirk being no rapper or adding extra shit, fire to the flame. The dude rapped about it. Aha. Uh -huh. Like, bro, once you rap about it and you do that and you get locked up, you become content, unfortunately. Yeah, yeah, unfortunately. You know what I mean? It is what it is, but bro, you got to shout out Quando Rondo because he ain't do nothing wrong in the situation. Yeah, yeah, he ain't do nothing wrong in the situation. Uh, when you take a life, you got to pay the debt. That what Charleston White saying, I do believe it. When you take a life, bro, you got to pay a debt to society. Not just when you think you got to pay the debt, for the, but for the rest of your life, that shadow is going to linger over you. That's totally correct, bro. Y'all drop it in the comments, but shout out Lil Dirk. But all the standing outside and protesting, that ain't going to help him get out. The judicial system works like it works, unfortunately, bro. Y'all drop it in the comments. Drag me if you want to. I, I really don't care, bro. I'm used to that shit. You know, I don't care, man. Look, 50 Cent refused $3 million to perform at Trump rally. Look, and he did it for a reason that most people wouldn't even believe. You know what I mean? It wasn't that he don't support Trump. He don't want to get into politics. He's scared of him. He say, no matter what you say, somebody's going to get emo have an emotional response and be dragging it. You know what I mean? Politics, look, it ain't for everybody. You know what I mean? It ain't for everybody. He turned down the money. He didn't need it. He would have turned down a Kamala Harris performance too he just not with the shit and i totally understand them bro because people like if you just say you like one of the they gonna drag you for days look i don't know what is election going but i hope the people get what they want you did yeah 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 i'm just being honest i'm just being real bro i hope the people get what they want look whack 100 throwing shots at the menendez brothers he say they should stay in jail forever yeah yeah if you let them out you might as well let it out. every father that when go events the molestation of their kids. You know what I mean? You, you heard something was going on with your kid, you went over there and put a bullet in the guy and you got life in prison. Yeah, you should be subject to getting out too. Yeah, yeah, it's no law that says just because you were molested that you should you have the right to go slay somebody. Yeah, yeah. He, hey, he got a point, bro. Yeah, yeah, he got a point. They did overkill on their parents, man. Let's just be honest, bro. Overkill. 12-gauge shotgun, reloaded, empty the clip. Like, come on, man. Come on. At the age of 21 and 18, bro, this wasn't kids, man. Right? This wasn't kids. And if they were black, nobody would be talking about it. Let's just be honest. Let's just be real, bro. I know a lot of people going to say, oh, free them. Free them. Look, I'm just being honest, bro. I wouldn't want them staying next door to me. I live in, like, a nice little community, and I'm raising kids, bro. I wouldn't want the Menendez brothers, having known that they've blown somebody away like that, st staying right next door. On top of that, loud! And Eric probably don't even like each other. You know, it was all type of shit going on between the brothers, bro. That's some shit that you can never really get over, whether or not, why they in there, they act like, oh, I'm over that. Like, man, they was doing all, like, Lyle was sticking toothbrushes up there, man, bro. Let's just be honest, bro. Uh, yeah, yeah, I think they should stay exactly where they at. You know what I mean? I, yeah, yeah, I think they should stay exactly where they at. Y'all drop it in the comments what y'all think about the Menendez brothers. Uh, I, yeah, 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 yeah. I'm, I'm going to leave it at that, bro. I think they should stay exactly where they at. Takashi 69 has been taken into federal custody for violating the terms of his supervised release. Yeah, bro. Part of him being out when he snitched, he was on five years of supervised release. Somehow he messed that up. Look, Takashi just got a new deal. Either anywhere from six to 10 million he's gonna receive as long as he stays out of trouble. Maybe this ain't shit, you know? The deets ain't really been leaked. DJ Academics told everybody the story. But we'll see where it goes. Uh, Takashi 69 he might be a little rat, you know what I mean? But he really likes the action, bro. Yeah, yeah, bro really likes the action. He stays in it. Whether he getting beat up or jumping somebody or talking shit, like this dude all around the world with the bullshit, bro. So I got to give him that. He would, ain't just no U.S. clown. This dude has become a world-renounced clown, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He took that little hairstyle everywhere. <laughs> Nasty out here, young boys. Cause you out here, I gotta chill with this demon time. I gotta chill off that demon time. I ain't talking about this demon time. Shit.
Then once y'all get up in that thing, it's on Jesus time. Zos, Assalam Alaikum, Jesus time, this, this, all this. And he's better chill because y'all out here trying to prove something. And he, when you go to jail, you know your bitch. If you don't know, I'm here to tell you that you're going to be. So you ain't going to be. You got babies by that. that you know what I'm saying? So you're going to lose your girl. 100 people that you probably talk to. You say you talk to 100 people. Probably like three, four, five of them going to be writing you. If they throw it, I'm a catcher to play the game like Tetris. I'm one of a kind rap. People tell me I'm a clip. I've been working 24 hours, summertime to win them. I ain't really at the chili, gotta be about business.